for all you aspiring Legion agency owners. I'm basically gonna show you how to use feedback loops to separate yourself from competition and become an irreplaceable piece in multi-million dollar company. So when you grasp this concept and when you actually understand how to use these feedback loops, it's gonna change your business forever. People talk a lot about saturation. They're like, ah, oh, is this niche saturated and there's competition and the only way you suffer from saturation is when you are labeled as a commodity and I'm gonna show you how to decommodize yourself so for example, Daniel used the same system. He's fucking killing it. He's actually a really irreplaceable piece for his clients. He has nine figure clients, eight figure clients, bunch of seven figure clients. His clients are amazingly happy with his results. Also, Oliver managed to book all time slots for next week in my client's Calendly and they can never replace him. He he can't really be compared to anyone else because he just understands the market way better and actually knows how to do this stuff. Six minutes booked in three hours, Daniel, Michael Choi, again upselling his clients Oliver Fallengren he basically flew from Denmark to Bangkok and during that flight he booked four calls and he got paid like 1.2k for those calls just want you to understand that when you actually understand this stuff your life is going to be so much fucking easier when running a lead tracing agency you might be thinking is this something that is even worth learning for me do I need to know this I'm already doing okay so why the fuck would I spend time and effort into learning some new system so if you have picked your niche based on something you've seen on the internet because it worked for someone else then you 100% need to learn this what a lot of people do is they see someone getting good results someone signing clients and they immediately start asking what is your niche what is the niche what is the niche and they think that that is the golden key they think that they can just get the niche copy paste it and get the same result but no that's not how it works like every time when I post some results that people inside agent velocity are getting everyone just immediately starts asking what is the niche what is the niche what is the niche acting like that is the only thing separating them getting those results if you're always following what others are are doing instead of coming up with your own angles and own offers and own strategies then this is 100% something that you need to learn that's also what I see a lot happening there's a few leaders in your market or if you do cold email iteration the only thing that you do is you just wait for someone to come up with these new strategies and new techniques and new fucking angles and new offers then when you start using it you never get the results of it so you never get the first movers advantage basically you need to be the person in your niche who comes up with new stuff and creates new concepts and makes them work so you can always reap the highest reward as possible or when you are in sales calls and you present your offer you're getting objections like you have already tried this with other agency they didn't get results or other agency charged x and etc 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 so you're just basically being compared to other people and other agencies which is a really fucking bad situation for you to be in because that means that you are accommodized you have nothing unique or maybe you have the prospect just doesn't see it and that way you are never able to really be the top one person in the niche because you're just another lead generation agency or when you present your offer the prospect starts asking okay can we do this without the starting fear can we do rev share or can we do x y and z can we pay 100 per call instead of 250 per call and they just don't understand the value of your offer third thing they start asking when you present their offer like do you have case studies or can we talk to your previous clients again they don't see you as an expert you have zero authority your offer just doesn't resonate with the niche if any one of these things resonate with you you see this in sales calls a lot then this is for sure something that's going to help you if you're just struggling with picking your niche because you have no idea what the market wants that's like really common as well that's like the most asked question that I get on social media, my DMs, my email, like people are just struggling with picking a niche. And that's why I wanted to also film this video because when you actually understand this process and using those feedback loops, then you will never have that problem. You will always be able to figure out what the niche wants and what niche to pick. Your closing rate is below 20%, even though your prices are low. So if you're selling something for 2K starting fee and 200 per call or 1K starting fee, or even 150 per call or 250 per call, whatever it might be, those are really low prices for a lead generation agency because obviously what a lead generation agency is it is someone basically working in the most difficult part of their business and most important because obviously sales is always the most important part in every single business because if there's no sales there's no clients and if there's no clients there's no revenue and the hardest part of sales is always prospecting and outreach so basically the step that lead generation agencies figure out and handle you're like building a completely new outbound system for them and handling the most hardest part in their business is the most important one if you're getting paid like 1k to set everything up and like 150 per call booked that's super low if you're offering prices like that and still closing below 20 percent, that just means that the offer is something that the client students really understand something in your foundations is fucked up because otherwise you would just be closing left and right on those deals you are asking questions like is x a good niche i see that a lot is cybersecurity a good niche is this good niche is this good niche what is your niche like people just are trying to find the one c 
secret niche that's gonna make them successful finally. And last thing, if you're running under 1% booking rate on your cold email campaigns, if you have good foundations in your agency and you're actually able to use feedback loops to dial those foundations in, that's gonna affect your cold email campaigns a lot. We have seen like awful scripts work amazingly well, hitting like crazy booking rates just because you're actually selling something they understand the value of. So if any one of these sound familiar to you, then you are in the right place and this is gonna be something that you should definitely learn, not just learn, but actually use in your business and use in your life. Here's what it basically looks like a high level overview. First, you have your foundations. The yellow ones are the foundations. So you have your B2B niche, you have a niche specific offer, and you have a landing page with a VSL that basically connects the niche with the offer. So you have these foundations and I'm gonna go into more in depth a bit later on this video, but just want to explain the core concept of it first. You have the foundations and what you do is you combine them into a cold email campaign and you start running cold emails. And because you're running cold emails, you are booking discovery calls. Because you're doing discovery calls, part of those are gonna turn into demo calls and part of those are gonna turn into clients. So when you're going through this process, you're taking discovery calls, you're taking demo calls, you're closing clients, you're gonna learn a lot in the process. So you're gonna get feedback. They are telling you that this isn't actually the problem they're struggling with or everyone is having a problem with a certain thing in your offer or everyone is asking always the same questions or everyone seems to have the same problems that they are struggling with and same desires and everyone has done the same thing when they have tried to fix that problem so you're just collecting feedback and data on what the market is looking like what the market is struggling with and what the market is trying to do then when you learn this stuff you take the stuff and you go back to the foundations back to your b2b niche you tweet the niche you exclude things you include things you direct in another way you might be positioned the niche a bit differently you target a different location target icp you target a different company size so you just find out information about the niche and you use that to create basically the version two of the niche and then because your offer is also niche specific based on those changes that you make here you need to also make changes here in the offer change the wording change the positioning change the end result change the time frame change the problem that it solves turn it into a different kind of transformation and also you will have the landing page with the VSL that connects the niche with the offer. So when you change this or this or both of these, of course you have to recreate a new video sales setter to have that up to date. And this is like an infinite loop that you just keep spinning through. The more times that you go through these loops, the harder you're gonna be competed with because you're just so dialed in the niche. Make sense? And of course also when you are signing new clients, you are building case studies out of those and then you're using those case studies into creating a new offer, a new VSL and you can also use those case studies and the case study information into tweaking the niche a bit. So I'm gonna go more in depth on how everything works, but do you see how much it makes sense? How easy it at the end of the day is? Basically what I'm just trying to say is that your niche, your offer and your VSL, those are always dynamic. Most people that are running lead generation agencies don't really realize this. They just basically pick a niche or worse, they copy someone else's. They create an offer using basic information found on the internet. So they just find the most basic things, the guarantees, the results they just copy something your basic foundations the most important parts of your whole agency are built on just some fucking random copy paste information and they are actually not like based on everything actual in the market and then they never optimize any aspects of their foundations and they just keep ramming traffic to version one assets like this isn't a bad thing to do in the beginning but what you need to do is immediately when you hop on a few discovery calls or get some data from the market you need to be changing it up and you need to be actually tweaking it based on data that you're getting because otherwise you're just gonna lose to everyone else who's doing the same thing you will always be a commodity you'll never charge high prices for your services you're never the number one option in the market and you lose to anyone who actually understands how to use feedback loops and how to actually dial in the foundations the correct way. There's three steps that you need to go through to separate yourself from competition and become a fucking killer for these multi-million dollar companies. First one is you need to pick a broad niche and offer and explain it with a video sales letter. So just a simple explanation. This is you and you have some advantages. You have done something throughout your life. If you haven't, dig further. You have probably done something and learned something in your life or been interested about something in your life. So let's say that this is you and you have studied finance in school. You have worked at a tax advisory company. You have done an internship there. You have done bookkeeping for your 
your family business, these three things are going to be really valuable for us. Why is it so important to use these advantages? When you have some advantages or some experience, so let's say you have studied the industry, you have worked in the industry, you have done something in the industry, you have actually been involved in it, you just understand the industry better compared to someone who hasn't done those things. You have an edge. We just want to build a lot of these edges so we're just harder to compete with. And this is going to be your first edge. You understand the terms, you understand the industry lingo. It just makes more sense for these companies to work with you because you already have proved that you understand at least on some level how they operate. So you don't have to learn the industry fully from scratch. So the learning curve is going to be a bit easier to go through and it's going to be faster to get the ball rolling. And let's say that the fifth advantage is that you live in fucking Canada. So based on these advantages, what you do is you create the version one niche. It needs to be fucking broad. So what I do is I would just pick a really broad niche. For example, based on these advantages, I would just pick the accounting industry in Canada. AC means Accounting Canada. And this obviously is a fucking huge industry. There's so many companies and there's so many different types of companies. There's some outsourced CFO services here. There's some tax advisory companies. There's some bookkeepers, like really basic bookkeepers. There's some consultants and there's just like a bunch of companies. There's some fintech companies. You're just in a market that has so many different variables. There's companies that are four figures, five figures, six figures, seven figures, eight figures, nine figures, 10 figures might even be there. So, and they have different employee ranges. They have different ICPs. There's just fucking million things that you have in this market. So what you do is you pick this market and you create a service level offer. So V1 offer. So what do you need to have in your first service level offer? You need to have a few things. You need to first have an end result. And depending on the market awareness and sophistication level of that niche, there's gonna be different things that you need to take into consideration. For example, without doing any research, again, I'm just fucking throwing this off the cuff, but I would assume that accounting companies in Canada have a really low market awareness level when we are talking about cold email lead generation. And they also probably have a fairly medium to low market sophistication level. So again, they haven't been as exposed to the cold email legion offers as some other markets and also they might not understand like market awareness level they might not understand as well what the problems are and they might not be as knowledgeable in different lead generation offers and products in the market that's what i mean when i'm talking about lower market awareness and lower sophistication level and this is just based on the information that usually accounting companies are they aren't as up to date with most up-to-date marketing and sales practices we need to take that into consideration obviously i would do some research on it but just for the sake of this video let's roll with that so we need an end result we need a time frame we need a guarantee and we also need basically a common pain point that the niche has that we're going to fix and again it's just going to be a surface level thesis so we are just going to free boil it here so end result let's say that an average accounting client for a medium-sized accounting companies pays five thousand dollars a year and on average that client stays for three years. So one client would be worth 15,000 for an average medium sized accounting company in Canada. So one client would be worth 15 Okay. And again, remember, these don't have to be super exact numbers. They just need to show the right direction and have some logical numbers behind them. So you can explain it to the client. So 15K per client, let's say that you work with them for 10 months. During 10 months, you're able to book them, let's say 100 calls, pretty low ball, but let's say 100 calls, 80 of them show up and they have a 20% closing rate. If they close 20% out of those 80 calls, they're going to close 16 clients. And since one client is worth 15K, this would mean that they would be making 240K in those 10 months if all of this math comes true. So then we could basically just say that we help accounting companies generate an extra $240,000 in 10 months or less. And then like a really simple pain point that we could find. What I recommend you to do to find out this pain point is go to places like Reddit, go to different accounting and bookkeeping forums, Google things like how to get clients from an accounting company or how to get clients for your accounting company and stuff like that and start finding commonalities. Maybe they're always talking about PPC in Google or networking or referrals or whatever it might be. Let's say that with accounting, it's Google ads. So our first variation of the offer would be 
we help accounting companies generate an extra $240,000 in 10 months without having to spend money on Google ads. That sparks a lot of interest. And then when we hop on calls and they ask, okay, how did you get this number 240,000? You just explain, yo, John, so this number is based on the averages in the industry. Of course, it depends a lot on what numbers you have, what is your average client value and what is your closing rate. If it's less, then it's going to be a little bit less than 240K. If it's more, then it's of course going to be more than 240K. And then you can just calculate those numbers for your prospect in the call and what i do for the pricing i would just charge 2k starting fee 250 per call in the beginning have it like really loose if you need to change it higher and as a guarantee just give them a guarantee if you don't get a 3x roi in 90 days i'll give you all your money back or if you don't get you three assigned clients in the first 90 days i will give you all your money back just do like really fucking bold guarantee on it so you can just get traction and you can just start getting those first calls with this niche because that's where the money is going to be made so now you have your version one niche you have your version one offer and now we need to also build the version one funnel or version one landing page what i do is i would just have a really simple page like this i would have the headline which would basically be the offer we help accounting companies in Canada generate the next $240,000 in 10 months or less without having to deal with Google ads. Then you would have a video sales letter and then you would have a button that they can press to book a call in your calendar. The VSL script is the one that does the most heavy lifting. You can go check my other videos if you want to learn how to write a really fucking killer video sales letter script. So this would be the step one, a broad niche, a broad offer, a landing page and a VSL. Step two, running cold emails while testing different end results to book discovery calls. So what you do is you create cold email campaigns and in these cold email campaigns what you just are doing is you're just creating different variations of the offers so maybe instead of saying two hundred forty thousand dollars in 10 months you're saying 20k in the next three months or you're saying 500k in the next 25 months or you're saying five new high paying clients every five months you're just generating like different versions of it also don't get confused on the pricing of this like you are not charging based on this number you're charging on the cost that you're generating this number is only like giving the goal or the direction or basically the positioning for the offer it's like a hook you tell someone yeah i'll generate your next 20, 240k in the next 10 months or less they hop into the call and then in that call you explain okay this is how we're going to do this is how many calls we need to book for you to make that happen and this is how we're going to pay then you create those cold email campaigns you start running cold email campaigns testing different hooks and different types of presenting your offer and you're again you're targeting this huge industry so let's say that there's three different main components in this industry there's some bookkeeping companies there's tax advisory companies and there's outsourced CFO companies like let's say that those are the main three types of companies that you find in this niche or this broad industry what you do is you can create a specific campaign for each one of them so you can make it a bit more personalized you don't need to just build a huge list of all these companies and blast them you can still create like segmented campaigns for for example tax advisory companies so your cold email could be targeted to Towards tax advisor companies and you could say hi john i hope fucking life is good just wanted to reach out to you since we help tax advisory companies in the canadian market generate the next $240,000 in the next 10 months or less so you don't have to struggle with google ads to get your next client do you mind if i send some more information on this and you just do this huge volume 20 email accounts 30 email accounts 40 email accounts every single day just more leads into campaigns new campaigns new testing you just need to be going all over the place like really rapidly testing new campaigns and new scripts because again this part is about collecting data and then also have like at least three follow-ups for each lead because that's gonna like boost your results a lot and that is basically the number two of this three-step structure so you run these cold email campaigns you book discovery calls and then you also obviously book demo calls and because you do demo calls you will also get clients it's not rare that in this stage when you have a really broad niche and offer that you're assigning clients we have seen people inside Angel Velocity come in they create the first broad audience and they sign five clients in the first month or seven clients in the first month they may are 10 15k in the first month with the broad version one niche and offer so again like you will make money with this but it's the stage one you don't want to get stuck with it so you run these call email campaigns let's say that you reach out to 3,000 companies you book 15 calls and out of those 
half of them are qualified so seven demo calls and then it closed to your clients and then you work with the two clients and you get a one really good case study see how simple it is so cold email campaigns 3000 cold emails 15 discoveries seven demo calls two clients and one amazing case study from all of these calls from all of these demo calls from this client project from this case studies, you are learning a fuck ton you are basically getting the most important thing that we need to get you're getting data this is the most important thing that you're getting you're gathering this data up you're seeing like what things in your offer work what don't what things you're struggling with more what are the best company sites to work with what are the best company types to work with is it the tax advisory companies or is the bookkeeping companies better or like you're just learning like what to exclude from the niche and what to include from the niche and then you go back to here the version one offer and you start excluding things so you start taking off all of the tax advisory companies boom you exclude them completely and then you take all of the companies out that are under fifty thousand dollars then you take all the companies out that are selling to e-commerce stores and you start excluding things because you just are seeing from the data and from the market that it doesn't work. You're making the niche more specific and this is actually happening based on what you're learning. So you're not just fucking dialing in the niche on fucking random information that doesn't mean anything. And also because you have this data, you're gonna go tweak the offer. Maybe every time when you talk about the 240K, people don't really understand it. They don't understand the math or maybe they are not actually struggling with Google ads. Maybe they're struggling with referrals or maybe you see that none of them actually want more revenue. All of them want more predictability and they have really long-term goals so tweak the offer based on the data that you're seeing and then because you have created a new niche and create a new offer you need to create a new landing page you can keep the same structure headline vsl book a call but you just need to create a new vsl targeting more into the pain points in the vsl you can go like really fucking hardcore heavy on like their pains and their situations and struggles and you can actually show that you are an expert so creating a new vsl is really 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 valuable and also let's say that you get a case study from those two clients one of them turns out to be a really good case that you get them secret results so let's say that this client is a tax advisory company and their stage one so stage one basically is their starting stage they were doing 50k a month and then you took them stage two where you basically got them you took them to 100k a month and this happened in seven months. You got them from 50K to 100K a month in seven months. Now, identify what kind of a company it was. So it was a tax advisory company doing 50K a month in Canada, serving SMB companies. So that is gonna be your new niche. So your new niche is gonna be tax advisory companies serving SMBs in Canada doing 50K a month. That's your new ICP because it has already fucking worked really well and your case study is gonna resonate really fucking well with those companies. And this is gonna be your new offer. Basically, you have this really clear transformation. So you're just gonna sell this transformation. Yo, we help tax advisory companies in Canada who sell to SMB companies go from 50k a month to 100k a month in seven months using cold outreach so that is just your offer then let's say you get a fucking better case study so you take the same company to 100k so then your new offer is just going to be how to go from 50k to 200k a month with your tax advisory company and like it's always the easiest offer to make is a case study and then when you show that case study to a similar company and you show like yo i can do the same for you they're gonna of course see that you're an expert and they're gonna also see the value you're doubling their business so you can easily charge 10 to 20 k for it minimum that's basically the three steps to becoming a fucking rainmaker in these multi-million dollar companies that they can never replace go through this process just fucking start figuring out and you are gonna make a lot of money also if you want help with this feedback loop process that is exactly what we offer at agentvelocity.io so basically we help you one-on-one -on -one with picking the version one niche and offer and creating a vsl for it we also help you create the cold email campaigns and the client action process to get the first calls and clients in the step two and also in step three we help you dial in the niche and the offer from the feedback and also make case studies and use that to create your new offer and of course we do a bunch more stuff and when you're doing it with us it's guaranteed to work or otherwise you don't pay we have done it already over 80 times and it fucking works here are some results that we have been getting <laughs> Below this video, book a call or just go to agentvelocity.io and we'll show you how we can get you to your fucking dream situation with your Legion agency. Until the next time, cheers, bye.